Hello, hello, hello. Today, I'm really excited to unbox and review with you the CD album soundtrack for The Wiz. So here we go. A few things about The Wiz before we take a look at this. It was originally released in 1978, starring Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, Richard Pryor, Lena Horne. The budget for the film was 24 million US dollars and it actually only took 21 at the box office. So it was technically a box office flop. But it's a bit of a cult a bit of a cult classic now. And I mean, of course, this was the film where Michael met Quincy Jones working on the soundtrack, which led to them collaborating on Off the Wall, and the rest is history. So let's take a look at this CD. You can see this is it's pretty old, regular price $39, our price 49 dollars it's pretty expensive for a CD. This is a pressing from 1997. And unfortunately, it's not in the best condition. We're missing, you might be able to see here, an inlay. So we'll open it and have a look at it in a minute. Great spine, standard jewel case. Great artwork. They've done a great job with the back of the case. Really long track listing. I mean, that's. 15 songs on CD1, 11 on CD2, so 26 songs in total. Of course, Michael Jackson sings on Ease On Down The Road and You Can't Win. And I think he also provides some vocals on A Brand New Day as well. And the last song, of course, is Home, by which Diana Ross performed on this. So let's take a look inside. So we have disc one. And disc two, unfortunately no inlay, but that's just due to its age, it's been lost. The artwork is fantastic. They've made these montages of shots from the film. And it just looks great, it's colorful, it's fun. You've got to love the whiz. And more excitingly, let's look at the booklet. This is a pretty chunky booklet, so I'm excited to open this and have a look. Here we go, there's an intro there. An image from the studio during the making of the soundtrack. Now I haven't read all of this in advance, I've not looked at this in advance, this is my first time seeing this, so I wanted to share that with you. So great images from people who've worked on the film. It's fantastic and very 70s in the best possible way. Ashford and Simpson, who wrote many great songs. My favourite is I Found a Cure. It's a great booklet, a lot of details. So all of this is by Quincy Jones, the last few pages. And here we go, there's some lyrics there. A brand new day, words of music by Luther Vandross. I didn't know that, so we're finding that out together. Maybe you are better informed than I am, and you already knew that. A couple of images from the films, of course, The Wizard. This is great. Diana Ross in The Wiz. This was a little bit controversial when she was first cast, as I think she was 39 when she made this. So relatively mature to play Dorothy. But I mean, Diana Ross is great. Here we go, and a little piece from Bruce Wadian, who worked on Michael Jackson's albums following this. The cast are his credits. This is great that they've got a full list of credits. From the children's choir, the woodwinds, trombones, horns, brilliant. 
very Quincy Jones that it's so well produced. And then we have a track listing here with credits. CD2, and then a shot from the film. Would have liked a few more color pictures in there, but I can't complain. Great booklet, great soundtrack. Check out The Wiz if you haven't already. It's a classic. Enjoy. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. Thank you for your support. And cheers.